Hello, I'm Chris. It's going to be an art vlog. So I recently just picked up a bunch of drawings I did, which I'll paint on, mostly paint on uh, card and paper. So I thought I'd just do a video where I looked at a few of those and uh, talked about each piece. Uh, maybe try and a couple that might be interesting for people. And I'll just talk about maybe what I was trying to I don't know, I'll just give like, sort of like a reaction video to my own work, right? Uh, if you're interested in buying any of these pieces, of course, say so in the comments and, I'll, and you can email me and then I'll sort something out if you like any of the pieces. But without further ado, let's just crack on with like, there's quite a few pieces actually to get through, so let's show you there's like, oh, there's a whole load of stuff here. Yeah, anyway, let's crack on. Figured I'd group these together. These are actually just life studies. Um, these are studies from studies that I did at a life drawing session in Edinburgh. So they are, I think I actually might have done these on, at the life drawing session itself. So I actually had some Indian ink. This is Indian ink actually, not paint. Well, it's sort of paint ink, but yeah, these are just some studies from a model, different poses. Obviously those two are the same pose. And that's the so yeah, just studies really. Which one of these, some of these sketches did eventually go into a painting that I produced. So yeah, that's pretty useful. Um, just this. So to separate some wind tag. So these, uh, these were like tacked onto the wall. So this also this makes me think it's reminiscent of uh, Francis Bacon, I suppose. It's paint. Well, I think. I think it's paint. It's acrylic paint on quite fairly large paper. It's quite interesting actually that I do. I mean, I don't know how much further you can go with this sort of uh, without it being too uh, derivative, but um, I do actually quite like that piece. There's something about it. It's quite, it's quite a um, dark imagery, I suppose, but I like how that turned out composition wise, centered on the face obviously and the background elements it's quite balanced I think this is probably just an exercise here I think this is just like my art making exercise I just have to because blue tack actually a bit bad isn't it uh, yeah. it's quite a lot of the pieces are, like stuck together from not very good not very good I should have taken it all off anyway those three pieces of that is like an exercise basically a portrait thing for a that's a sketch of a Buddha statue, I think. It's in charcoal. It's just a sketch of it. Um, it's quite interesting, like an alien-like form in a sort of landscape. I do all this quite I think There's almost like a face there as well. So I do this quite a lot. It's like this something I'm looking to develop a bit more now as well. It's like all over, sort of like landscape, biomorphic paintings. I do quite like that entire thing. It's actually quite an interesting painting. It's almost like a sort of being here, it's like an alien animal form. Like a side profile of the face, and it's like, and then yeah, just some like filling in between. It's just like a mixture of landscape and some uh, organic imagery of bodies and things. Oh! Uh, so this is a painting I did in 20, that's actually from a while further back, 2021, I remember this painting. So, I think I know exactly what was going through my mind when I did this, I was just getting over the end of a relationship, I just moved back from, um, and it is that figure on the right, is me. Um, just come back from living in Moscow for a while, so it was just a new period. There's a lot of things, you know, I just sort of drew myself as this wizard figure. The figure on the left is probably just an amalgamation of a few different feminine archetypes. My ex probably on some level. But also, I think it's the, it's one of the red wire colours paint. But anyway, it's not uh, sort of abstract piece this. I don't know what else to say about this, it's just basically an abstract fluid moving all over thing. Um, sort of an exercise really. Ok, 
Okay, so this is again like in a similar vein to this painting. Face of abstraction. I think less successful than that one though. I think this this looks, feels much more contrived, stranger in a way, but I actually quite like the splattering marks, but I don't like the actual made overall composition of the face, if that makes sense. A bunch of stuff that's not relevant. Yeah, okay, so all right, um, that's like Mark making exercise really feminine form, form, body. It's a bunch of charcoal stuff that's probably half done. Ah, this is quite an interesting piece. If I can get it off, I really have. So these two sort of relate, actually, I think. So on the left, one of the last paintings I did was in London. Like, uh, Incorporated, so that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily a word, but I just incorporated some Russian typography because I just come from Frank for Loom now. It's sort of a urban-y landscape thing with a lot of the cubist style as well. And uh, yeah, so that's quite an interesting piece actually, quite like that one. And then there's this, which is part of the series I started doing in um, Scotland, which is different incorporate different imaginary, imagined landscapes, you've got this feminine figure on the left, sort of figure out, humanoid figure on the right, this sort of uh, buildings in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Some things stuck again here. Be careful with all this stuff. It's really sort it's good that I'm doing it anyways, it's all that. Another similar one, mixture of organic sort of form and then Landscape form and a bit of, you know, sort of got a vanishing point going towards there. So it sort of all goes in that direction. I quite like the, that part of it actually, how it gets, it's got a bit of sense of perspective to it, which is quite nice. So it's not, not entirely that bad. Ah, it's just some weird thing. An exercise again, like in improvisational imagery. This is a piece actually behind it which is from much longer ago. This is actually from him being in Moscow. It's called Dark Wizard. It's a figure I've portrayed before in the, like in the piece, older painting, Manic Minor. This sort of uh, wizard figure who uh, smokes on a pipe a lot. Um, I think this is from Russia, actually. Or may, may possibly from when I was in Scotland again, it's a similar thing of doing the body morphing a mixture of abstraction and the, you know, sort of space and body. These are probably very weird things. Crap, turn over all the little sketches, really weird little sketch, and sort of like all over pollocky sort of thing. Not very, not exactly finished things. These are probably more exercises I did for. Loose mark making sort of exercises, I guess. All right, okay, so we've got some of our stuff here. Just undo. So, this is actually, uh, I did this in Russia. This is a sort of COVID painting, actually, so that's what you're representing. You can see there, December 2020. It's uh, my sort of portrait, like again, following on from the abstracted face images. It's that. Another landscape painting, this is of a witch, so I was following all this like witch and woodland scenery. It's quite nice things going on there. It's just almost like a humanoid figure in the background, but ambiguous in the trees. There's a continuation of a thing I've often explored in my work of the dark woods, or the woodland in half, you know, speak of the devil. This is also a woodland paint uh, drawing based on memory of when I was in the Russian forest teaching English. So that's that, it's a drawing, it's a pencil drawing. A paganistic representation of Pan or the Devil, I guess. And that's also using paint. It's quite interesting-ish. Quite expressionist, a bit loose. But, um, a portrait, a selfie. Oh. Ah! Sort it out. Okay, so it's increasingly getting a bit better here, but got this Tudor sort of coming into my work. It's a self portrait. I like that piece. It's uh, ink, I think. 
Spiral, this is Sack Ward, which is from life. This is, uh, this is represents quite a series of work. This is like a sort of Kafkaesque trial, and you look at this idea of that. It's like people in a courtroom. This is quite an interesting little collection of work, actually. Studies for something that could be built upon. It's called Creature. It's a haunting image for sure, but it's something I really want to explore more and more work. Is this. Uh, these sort of like haunting landscapes for the imagination. This is something I really enjoy exploring. Again, that kind of a haunting sort of figure. Glasses and a strange background. A, uh, this is a townscape painting from life, looking from actually the view out my window at my old studio in uh, Scotland. And then I've added some just imagined symbolic uh, elements, like these two sort of figures on the left. But I quite like to enjoy doing that. I enjoy doing that occasionally, though I'm not really that good at town paintings. It's something I want to do a bit more of. That's from Russia, uh, 2021. I think uh, a, it's a nude from Imagination. I think I also did the, use a reference for that one. A picture of Matt and Tudor, my friend. Um, a sketch. That's actually from life, I think. So I did that directly from observation. That is that. Pink Buddha, which is a sort of art place or restaurant, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, some weird sketch, a bit derivative, really. Some guy drinking, some severe looking Russian guy. The Black Monk, which is a figure I sort of explored in many respects, which I got from Chekhov. Just reading a story called The Dark Black Monk, and uh, that's my sort of came that idea or symbol came into my work quite a lot after reading that short story. And um, check off another sort of piece in the realm of the mixing of the macabre and the sort of landscape, the dream landscape. I want to do something like a cosmos painting, so I did this, which I'm not exactly sure if it's successful, but I did it. Not stuck on that. So. Oh, this is uh, not sure why I did this, but. Some sort of strange looking, slightly crazy looking woman. This is there. Uh, no idea what that is. I actually have no idea. Oh, I think it's planning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. So I did this like uh, stupid Nietzsche comic. Uh, so that's part of that. It was like an absurdist comic about Nietzsche. Uh, so that's just like some parts of that. <laughs> Nietzsche and Jesus. In it, in it Nietzsche decides uh, Jesus has decides he loves Nietzsche. That's an ass bum with him. That's Nietzsche the shotgun incel. <laughs> Just very silly, like experiment really. The more serious side of things that self portrait. Serious face godba. Uh, sort this out. This looks quite nice, I don't wanna mess that one up if I can. It's a piece of the leaf, quite nice. I want to really sort it out at the same time anyway. Self-portrait. Quite nicely rendered, I guess. Uh, I want to try and probably put a show on of these. I think, at some point. So I quite like some of the pieces. Uh, similar to the other creature painting. It's like, sort of organic form of non-specific uh, type. It's like a fish, this head, actually, a bit. It's like a fish's head, in the way. And this is quite a nice piece of leaf, so sort that out. A fish head. I think I actually did call it a fish head. Another priest. This ice. This is reminds me of Tudor, but it wasn't explicitly him or anything. But the way the figure turned out. It's funny that sometimes in painting any figure, it can just randomly, you know, someone's, you know, real life can come in. That's probably just because it's a bored man with a beard. But yeah, it's like a good idea as a man. Walking through a landscape of some sort. It's a bit like a religious connotation as well, a priest or something. More dystopian image. So, sort of like an imagined uh, cyberpunk neoliberalism hellhole, technological hellhole. Maybe we'll be getting, getting there soon, but we'll see. Ha, some weird. I did this at the Scotland town, Screaming Ham. I quite like that piece actually, it's just the wee one, it's like A5, but 
It's a uh, weird cybernetic, sort of weird abstracted being, similar again to the, the abstracted biomorphism thing. Symbolic dream imagery. Um, well, I wanted to escape London at the time, so it's just like escape. I don't know who the woman is at the right, on the left, sorry, it's just funny. Archetypal lady, lady. Um, get them all the pollocky sort of thing. Uh, some radiohead thing. Ah, oh, that's quite interesting. So, like, uh, women, sort of. Yeah, actually, no, not modeled on anyone in particular, that, but just. just they do. Okay, and then there's Pikachu, which is the one I. Again, there's a painting I did in Russia. It's a funny story behind that. <laughs> it's a funny one to end on that because that's basically the last one. That was just my uh, ex-girlfriend just said, "Stop drawing such dark things and draw a draw a Pikachu instead." Oh, I did. Not the pusher around. Anyway, it was quite a long video, probably, but well, it was interesting, at least on some level. It's the least just an update on my work of late. If you're interested, um, that's it. Bye. Like and subscribe.